guarantee that LC gets a good start, but like you said, it could go either way. Troll Wars is an interesting follow-up to this selection here. We're looking for the one that was a little tankier to persist through. Generally, like the old classic combo, we're talking about Shadow Demon, Life Track, usually was followed followed up with a Morphling or a Weaver, but uh, with all the silence on the board from the Skywrath from the Puck, that might have not have been the best course of action. So they go with something new, they go with the Troll, but when you look at it, there's not that much benefit for enhanced right-click for heroes like Batrider and Shadow Demon. There's still a lot of tower build potential with the Diabolic Edict, with the Battle Trance, but it's not like it's going to be the game changer for their in team fight DPS. For a guy who is one of the mid laners, this is a nice hell classic of mid lane hero. Most It's like a soul saving tune. Yeah, so we'll see exactly what he can accomplish there in a more passive situation against the map right here. Probably gonna get a magic stick early, but Bounty Rune will feed, feed that early gold. Now we see the stun coming out on a Garter though. He does go for the disruption onto the Skywrath Mage, but maybe, yeah, with that Arcane Bolt, it's gonna be enough to bring down Garter for the first blood, and the stun doesn't even connect. Oh, that's heartbreaking. He just felt like this would be an easy opportunity to contest Rune. Bounty is one of the best at hitting all the but it blows up in his face quick, and man. It is so damn far, and it does a real amount of damage right off the start. Enough for at least to off the air. Will IG strike first? Yep. So I don't think we got to introduce the side of LGDC deck, so looking over at their side here real quick. We're going to be running Brewmaster in the top lane here. That's Zhao Hong, or XH, on the Brew. It's going to be supported by Q, or HHH, on the Leshrac, as well as Garter, as we saw. He took a spill on that Shadow Demon. Looking over the mid lane, it is going to be maybe on the Troll Warlord, a pretty interesting matchup hero against the Puck. Both very good in 1v1 matchups. But down bottom, it's 3-3-3's Batrider, and we'll see what he can accomplish here. He's going to be going against this island now. Settle in a long bottom and Scar through the top step, kind of zoning out. But yeah, back up to the top lane disruption there. Hell classic come coming out. Splitter clap right. He's actually trapped. He can wait. Finally, the illusions expire, but he gets healed of the problem. So far, oh, oh, second splitter land, and they make count right back on their own on the prize farming legion commander nice work right there from steeding done yeah very very important kill and it looks like Lewis is going to be taking a long road back up to the top lane no boots no tp just uh, making it slow because he knows the creep wave is going to be uh, pressuring the tower for a very long time he's not going to see any experience one way or another with this stacked pull coming out from garter so um, oh, yeah. oh bad rider eating a lot of damage oh, they get one more out of attack and it wasn't close enough on the visual screen they're trying oh, man. the bad rider does is to slip out and pull the hell out of there using those boots to his to get away and he has to take the long road all the way back to the fountain so a lot of aggression coming out from top to bottom at the start of this one just two minutes in and Ferrari first mid lane pop is building up seven and three Shell has got his pretty far seat to start he also has a nice shooter if he doesn't have his ball now to take advantage of that just form that nice four man shield going against Pop who did go in into the null so he's actually killing from the core of the sheet but it's still a little like it is with that ball that's an it more more so than anything else uh, but... 
But she can be appropriate enough. Um, one thing to note is that Troll Warlord, in the in general, is like one of the best one v one heroes in the game. Like he can do so much damage, and especially when you consider him the fact that he's in melee most of the time. Like he is probably the best when you consider him a melee hero. But of course, he does have a lot of rate range components. We see him CSing pretty well by switching his stances nicely, and he has controlled the lane very nicely. Ferrari going for a very stat heavy build. It's cost him because he had to ferry a salve. He's still about couple last hits away from that bottle and it's just been a rough time for him so obviously even without the ganks coming in from the shattered demon leshrac maybe has made his mark in the laning phase and overall they're getting what they need to accomplish across the map obviously they didn't want to start off with the first blood against garter but right now they feel confident enough for batrider to get towards his level three or four to move into the jungle they are getting some great farm on xh to go towards the blink dagger yeah, and we saw some Roma happening there I Shadow Demon, which is something you come to expect in this combo. Like, been, well, I you might have been well aware of them with that last pick on Puck. Puck is going to be the, one of these heroes to see down the middle. So you're going to really have to try to find everything to help your knockdown for the top one. And they're going to be the commander in the corner. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go over and he's done for or one on a little struggling a bit in this leading commander offing going against us this powerhouse pombo that we have unknown of for the two years. Yeah, with the hard to spell that's built into practically pack as well as the heal, usually Legion Commander is a great offlane hero. She's able to survive against a lot of slowing effects. She's able to just keep on the move. She gets a great boost with the overwhelming odds. But in this situation, the body blocks are the big thing here. The hard stuns and the body blocks, she doesn't have a way to phase through. So in this position, oh, Luo yes. is just uh, under a little bit too much pressure. And even with this Observer Ward, he's found himself seeing a couple of too many deaths. So now he's playing the role of bait. So Okay, you want to kill me? Then you'll fight for it. And we do have a lot of backup with Chuan and Cheesebug up here. Let's see, they definitely need the reinforcements here, and they might use it to their advantage. Rather knowing that Luo can be put out like that, he's just gonna put the worm on the whole foot out there and hope someone beats. So they'll get good follow-up, because Path Mage can step on in there and get bounce off before they try to complete out their combo and try to go with a nice initiation. But they're not buying that they're back up, trying to work instead with free equilibrium. And then actually, Shady is not going to be there. He's already busy in the middle lane, maybe they can go on other help him out. So, well, Shady being there, they're no calm in the world. Sick are not going to be looking to bite. And this will be a good time with you for both of the people that will. Yep, and that just uh, kind of spreads the map a little bit, gives a little bit more time for everybody to farm up here, but uh, yeah, as far as like who specifically is going to be able to, to win out in terms of passivity, uh, I guess it's going to be RG with their potential right now to get Lua online. Like, they just want to build him up to level 6 as quickly as possible. Once he is 6, then he's similar to the Bounty Hunter. You need to start making use of Duel and finding some stacks for yourself. But uh, that's pretty easily done with the help of these kind of nuki support Ports, two points of magic missile, etc. Um, to the point that once their ultimates start coming online, IG are going to be looking for kills. For now, passive play will probably be the best thing for them. They're really winning it out. They know that those have been missing. They haven't bought them. That's for sure. Who the hell are they? It's here for such guys. It was a little I got you, but something's a bit sticky. Is he so confident to be taking him out of the time? Well, let's go over the oh, from the side. Maybe we'll have more members of the group now. He's picked up, here comes a dog in the shape. Wow! He's gonna throw a guy around. Coiled up from Ferrari! He's on and on three. Let's rack goes down immediately. Now he shoots steps. The Chrono Bat hits the deck. It's true! Sorry, I'm so near to the head of this one. Keep First, a roll if you play Page Committed 5, still come out on top, taking them to actually free at the end of that one. The Shadow Demon also to fall. Poor hmm. Warlord has also made a deep in this lane. He's holding that in bid. Maybe for someone to linger out. Oh, man. A nice position coming in from IG to just kind of spring their own for a bit of DNA. Oh, yeah, it's just incredible. That. Oh, well, we will see some movement oh. on the June. It's not going to actually. 
come up to anything, but that movement from Ferrari there, the dream coil connecting, and also the way he used his AoE spells, hitting two with the waning revs and then hitting two others with the orb, he was able to spread the damage very nicely to get the kills they needed, and uh, as soon as that dream coil connected, they knew that there was a fight that June could contribute to, that they were able to follow it up with the Chronosphere, and their ultimates are just stronger. Bottom line, IG have better ultimates to work with uh, for the majority of this game. I mean, eventually the lasso will be able to cover it. for this one, no one has said IG will fall. There's still the key. A lot of patience, and they have got great rotations. Continue on through Wellnet 5 2. The start of this match. That was just a really smart TP from Ferrari. Kind of risky, because Garter was already on the move towards him, but as soon as he kind of stopped and pulled back, he knew that he had a three-second frame before Disruption would actually connect with him, and he actually needed a TP there because the Batrider was coming, not with Flame Break, but with the Napalm with the Firefly. So, very, very clutch TP from Ferrari, getting out and keeping his uh, current kill streak alive. I mean, it's only 1-0 and 3, but that's a level 8 hero you don't want to be giving experience uh, away from. So, the fact that he's able to get away from that one... And and uh, that they, in general, create space for Luo to rubber band on the bottom lane. This is all coming up IG, and they're going to keep to look that look to keep that momentum alive as we see the uh, roaming squad, Cheesebug and Chuan are on the move again, smoking up. Burn of Shadows soon to be picked up for Venge, but for now it's just these two level four heroes looking for blood. We do have a bit of a calm for story. Everyone, let me know about the audio show and what the well where I sound like freaking robot. As you know, it's a round connection we have. The perfect world server and resolve it at the moment. Going over here in the Atlantic Coast, Blade is supposed to be sent from the Midland area. I knew something was going to happen, and I caught the back end of that one. Is maybe does end up falling. The coal has dropped they invest a lot, but get big rewards right there as they take down the troll of the Midland. Again, I continue to fire off on all cylinder, grabbing another sweet kill. Yeah, and it's gonna get worse for Cedar from here. Uh, Ferrari's about to pick up his main dagger. Like, he didn't even go for the treads. He just decides, okay, I can be mad. Okay, actually, good thing there's no ward up there. There is a ward up there. They know he's there. This should, actually could be the death of the Brewmaster. He's. Uh, we'll see the RNG come into play, whether or not they're gonna uphill him. But if they can just keep it down, yeah. He blinked, he got stuck, he was looking for the rune, and he undershot it. Yeah, that was a bit of a. Oh, big, that was a big just keep going. Here's the door the game, and back from dying, and he's probably going down again, though he's escaped twice. Well, that truck is a 3 3 3 get to that over. And a third one, really not, not one more painful before you come from and hit off a little part and get as he keeps his way back to the base. It's still relentless onslaught from IG looking really good right now. Pushing well in the head. 10 to 2. Your net worth now doing well up toward 5k. It's not done yet, folks. Jumping on mid lungs from the blue top. Pop a quick ancient seal. Hit a bet and so primal slip. Off your feet. Look away. Low on my feet. They take it down. They can't. Do not commit that. Managed to find something back and hopefully be able to have that chance to bring the flower. Yep, yeah, and uh, I mean, this lasso is going to keep them in the game for now. They're just continuing to build momentum, but they really need objectives on top of that. The fortification will come through, but they still have the edict, so as soon as the fort ends, they can go for that. But they're diving deep. They want more than just a tower. They're going to pick up Ferrari, that huge kill. Got a lot of bursts to take down. The fairy before she can slip out of that one. Now they turn back to the tier one, so two back to the table. Um, Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Making a two for one, they didn't want to lose anyone else. They quickly make the retreat. A bounty hunter gonna be grabbed. 
does not like it fun of that one, though. Just stick around and pull that out. Yeah, I think the big key for C deck to try to bring themselves back in this game is fighting in between the Kronos like that because uh, essentially all the other ulties are too short of cooldown to really time against. You're gonna get the Dream Coil up in almost every fight. Uh, everything else is really short, but if you can fight between the Chronospheres before Void gets to level 16, that's still gonna give you a point of leverage where you can kind of go get the initial pick off with the lasso to turn it into a 5v4, and without Chrono, that's where you can take fights. But they can't rely on that all game long eventually Void will be 16, and uh, I, obviously IG played against Bat Riders for a very long time. They know how to mm -hmm. position against it, they know how to avoid those picks, but for now, if they're looking for the Chronosphere, baiting with Dune, and Ferrari's gonna be the one to jump in. that was a mistake. Look at the Corner to one gets slow for the lightning storm from sure. Now they were commit. Oh, who is up to this one as well? Slither also catches over the sky rap stage. They're leading him up right now. IG is a bit overzealous on some of these kills as well. They hang it over and they're not done yet. They see low and they take him down too. Jeez, my kingdom for an urn charge. That veg was just so desperate to pursue, but they can't find what they were looking for. That was just so painful to watch. They started so strong too. That the coil, the chronosphere, everything started really well. But the heroes are low enough level right now. The respawns are relatively short, and when they get back into it, they get a second wind. And so C deck are able to route them from their territory, getting some really big kills out of it. So again, fighting between the cooldowns in this case, just because the fight extended so long and yeah this is going to be c-deck where they have their most potential the chronosphere is still well it is coming back up but they have the lasso and they have the brewmaster split they need to continue to make things happen but look at this observer ward on the high ground radiant see exactly how c-deck are posturing and they'll know how to respond Oh, they killed that dusky as well. They killed that dusky, man. <laughs> All right, we're, we're rooting for IG now. Dusky players, be damned. This is not <laughs> acceptable in the summit too. We'll stay make it work. They're adding pressure on the bottom, trying to use the draw. Go to the it right here. Attack. Blue got a slip break up. Way back. So from hand. But no, they don't attack. see anyone coming to see off. And then it's an opportunity for an old tag to train. And now, here one and here one. They're going to get work trolls. One and done. He comes out the ultimate. Guys, stop down. Has to fall. work in favor. Not real swinging that quick right now. He invested in the fake boots at first. Not really bringing any extra damage. And he's working towards the set of drums. And he's down there. Tower. There's gonna be an engine that popped up, and uh, that might be the rabbit. Uh, also, a little props to up. Anyone on the top after IG2 on the third tower is under attack. Run. The enemy giant wants to catch one out here, and that being one, yeah, we'll see that gave me invitation all the way out towards the normal. Yep, so they're going to be putting pressure here, just kind of baiting with Luo. He's got enough durability with the Buckler to withstand the first assault, and he actually just finished up the mechanism, so he has no goal to lose here. He can stay in the front line, he can be the one to let things happen to him, and then they can just go ahead and follow through with the ultimates. But for now, they're they're falling back, it's a fake back with the smoke, and they're going to look for the opening. Uh, obviously, the Venge has to stay away from her allies, so she can still look for the swap, but maybe walking right in, almost under the sentry ward! Oh, this is dangerous. Oh. Going for oh, does that enough to come down before the Chrono Spirit comes down even the Mystic? Oh, that's a little weird. They killed the Chrono Brew has finished. made a one to the top to a fatal goal. And meanwhile, in pursuit, they're trying to get a hold of the Chrono Spirit. The other six is the Chrono Spirit. They get right there again. Proving out the supports. And now, and pull off. Pull off. Pull off. He's back. It's the back. Whoa, hit him with the stack. They keep on the core of the Chrono Spirit still. 
anything about the way it looks right. They can't push forward. That right pulls on back out. And well, it still barely hits him out on the top of that fight, but not that yet. It looks like Luke's returning in. Would love to be able to use this duel and Buck no tool to work with here. We'll see if they get shocked on the way out here. No, no, no. no they still gonna go from the block. Swap. Oh, okay. He's been, well, unfortunately, off the wall. He's got to see if he's on the way and he has to pull back. He held back at her, move on for it, and takes out Ferrari. Yeah. He got a nice face fa shift dodge on the splitter up there, but he was still 1v4. He couldn't get far enough away. Now Chuan being gunned down. Nice Mystic Flare coming out, but he's still going to fall. Cheesebug getting run down, and yeah, he just can't get away fast enough. On the tail end of that C deck prevail, and there's so many second wounds uh, in these engagements. A big aspect of that was that Lou didn't have the mechanism because the poor was dead. Poor Husky. Dusky wasn't able to make his delivery and they didn't have that extra burst of HP that they needed to feel confident. So, uh, IG just again overextending without the cooldowns they need and they get kind of just picked apart. So what was once a 5k gold lead for our EF two fights that isn't going well in the sea in favor is no going back for that. This is a bit risky right now. Oh, Come through! This is the Baron set! Oh, whoa! Goes on in Skyrath Mage, Skyrath Mage! Roll the Baron! He's still away from that! Meanwhile, Frog, I'm not spoiled! Oh, no! She's on the street with the Baron as well! And now the Baron is down on the top splitter! Oh, that was a bit of a miss, but still, ultimately, oh, Pelt from Jude does manage to get away from Wild and the South! One, going to the Oh, 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 Magic Missile! Says, Chicky, Chicky, Help! The Flag never jacked it out! And now your mega kill rate is on the bat. That was pretty Holy ugly. Holy. Yeah, the the Tron actually swapped Ferrari into his death. Uh -oh. Actually, the coil looked nice, but there's no reason for them to break it. Oh, June, the solo kill. Yeah, uh, you see, Demon, Shadow Demon does not have the mana for this. There it is. Now. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's completely unnecessary. I mean, he was in an awkward position, but that's just too ambitious. I mean, it's nice to get a solo kill, it really is, but it took too long. He should have just engaged sooner. That has been How many times have we seen I'm gonna get you. Yeah. just barely slip away, and unfortunately, the need to show up and just really make him for it. So, in the Baron, you over die over the health play for my sheet. And it's working to the now, right now. They're coming at it. I'm gonna see the cool pop probably out right here in the middle of the room. We're gonna look to migrate anywhere near the bottom of the soul. We would love to be level 11, so that uh, spot will just be a little bit bigger in range. But right now, he has to be a little too overcommitted. And when you're trying to hustle through, you're not better flying over here. You don't want to be close to the hot action. And we'll see that complete out the roach and the ages we put into the pocket of Troll Warlord. Yeah. Took a little longer than we expected just because it actually he only has one point in fervor there, so the single target DPS time isn't that significant. But uh, they still they don't take much damage from it with the bashes, with the drunken haze, and so on. They really just, they can they can dance all day with Roshan. We're gonna see actually Lil scouting on the high ground has a great ward to see what's coming, but will he be uh -oh. able to get on time with night time? Three through three doesn't see him and he's just gonna TP out. Cheese bug as well. No, the full break cancels it. Quickly, he quickly reacts with the flame ray and takes down this guy. Luo to quickly slow out, but you know, man, they are constantly on the hunt mm -hmm. and they do a nice little thing right there in the rat and poop themselves at 18, 15. Okay. 
Yeah, I really like how they've played a lot of their fights. They've been having some great even the disruptions and chronos, and they've been just generally speaking controlling the fight a lot more efficiently. The start off is still hard because IG have such a great front load of burst to dis disable, but once they weather that storm, they seem to be able to bounce back really well. And we're gonna see the BKB out on the troll pretty soon. Obviously, the Vlad has been doing work for the Brew, and soon his BKB will make it so that he doesn't have to fear the Skyrath silence. And they're even gonna be able to ship away at the very quickly. With the battle trans, they have the Aegis on the front line. They are way out. Super Sun Ocean's in. Move on. Tower dead. They're bringing an extra bit of gold to put in a secure full forward. AP, which would be very nice to have in the engagement. And then Garrison would have been some atmosphere. We'll bet a lot of the other guys in the middle of the tower. They move on back. So they'll be just a touch more, and then we'll be able to secure. The BKB, and that would be very, very big for this whole set. The game plan in mind, and they're slowly trying to fill in for ID. The experienced squad been around the block for quite a while, really shake off their own Brazil and try to put together a team by the wrong time to make a fight happen. But the state of Luo, down here on the bottom, alone, does need to be caught to see that begin to sweep through the enemy territory right here and now begin the mid lane. Yeah, using this gem that was picked up by Shadow Demon very effectively, so they are going to be able to clear out most of the Radiant Vision. Actually, no Observer Ward's up for them right now. So this is going to kind of pin them in a corner where they have to play reactively. They have to be in a position where they can respond with the Chronosphere. They can respond with the Swap. Evangelion level 9. They make a jump. They want to take a bit. Oh, no. No. again. Helps out on that long. They cycle on the mage and they turn their attention on the rest of IG that remain, and that's going to be a mage once again. It's going to be a freaking clear right there. And now Cedek really tussles themselves down at mid lane. And man, this is just a for IG. And Luke continues there on the board for a mechanism email. For him, uh, Chuan, he's as uh, Radiance middle tower is under yeah. on this team. Uh, uh, for him. There we go. Uh, the huge damage power. But do they disengage from here is the question. We do see Tuan committing, forcing somebody to commit because they do have the swap now, so they can't TP out, they can't run very easily, and yeah, now we're gonna look for pursuit. Move on, face has no crow here. You can sort of engage. I like this from C Dire Honestly, IG are playing really cocky right now. Like, not having any vision across the map and thinking you can play proactively instead of reactively, it's good in some situations, but here it's costing them dearly, and they're just losing out so much. They're not able to get the BKB up on Void or the Maelstrom if that's what he wants to go for, and it's just, it's very slow progression. They've not only stagnated, uh, but they're they're falling further and further behind. Like, Legion Commander finally finishes the blade mail, so maybe she can win a second duel this game, but right now they're not really accomplishing the objectives they need to, and see if have shown that they can manage against the the forces that IG have brought to bear so far. Another jump in that would be a value for them. This crap falls off yet. I'm not in front of that whole armor. Glass will have to take it down. I think that's right. They're so muscle. The IG crew were looking like the underdog. Throw this one, but there is no question. No, I'm very, very sharp. Thank you, Warren. Now they're going to take it to the top. Well, the live to clear out the tapes, pop the heat. This is a set of racks that's going to fall in the mid lane. I mean, they have so much quick single target aim. Even though most of these heroes aren't right click oriented, the edict combined with the battle transit still plenty to bring it down very quickly, and they can just disengage. They get the blink dagger up on troll, so they have more range of initiation. And oh, I don't know. It's just like IG have lost all semblance of control of this game. Like the. 
the Skywrath has kind of been rendered obsolete. There was actually a fight earlier where he actually silenced a creep, but since then he's been silencing heroes that can just BKB it off, and he just doesn't seem to be able to contribute the way he used to. I mean, maybe if the Chrono Spheres are perfect, he'll be still finding his opportunity to shine, but at least for the moment, June hasn't been able to really get his money's worth out of that one, and obviously we, the duel from last round speaks for itself. You duel a nearly full HP Brewmaster with a BKB active, you're gonna have a bad time. It's the winner winner chicken dinner for him as he's plus 14 in that count. This is not looking ID. Their lane does not flow as easily as CDX does. You talked about the jump and crawl. I mean, really, what's well, gonna be that at all? Your other day here, your lead commander can't really contribute a whole lot from the outside except the occasional new combo. Not gonna be a lot. Mari's there trying to do some right clicks, but it's just a simple little puck who can't really get going mid. We already skipped Lasso to get some slate to be fighting down rather quickly. And it's really just, I think if he did another if it really goes for next, it might go over the top. This ball himself will make a pay for it. The person here in the lane is going to come down to IP trying to spread the move and find far from the spot on the tower. I don't think Skidak are going to look to just try to attack it too equally. They might just continue on. Full on for the board. Definitely happy with this little wreck. And now this troll continues to fall and just is that lane. And now Ori has 1,500 gold. Ben, he ultimately does get taken down. They do commit. Coil before as long with Miss Flip, but regardless, he needed to finally get a kill down, and they do. Yeah, finally getting some more points on the board since their early momentum. Obviously, that seems like a small little hill compared to the, the valley that they now have to just wade through because uh, 4,000 net worth is now turned into uh, almost 11k there. They're bringing it back the other direction a little bit, but with Roche respawning in a minute and 20 seconds, that's when everything's going to really just be levied on. This is this is the time where either team has to pull the best team fight they pulled this game because uh, that Roche can be an extremely deciding factor as far as how the next lane of Rax uh, is decided, and no matter how late game your Void and your Legion Commander can go, if you're down two lanes of Rax, you're not going to be able to realize that opportunity. So that completes this BKB, that makes it we now decide to see that, and this makes it even more trouble for your half mage. Schwan stunned right there, but he can't get done with swap really close. Oh, get away from that Lua, way out of leash. Ultimately, it's caught out and down. Yeah, they got the Blink Dagger on Troll, so Chuan has to be extremely careful right here. They could easily jump on him, but they are falling back. They think it's bait. They don't want to look to risk that opportunity. Um, also, looking bottom down bottom, Cheesebug and Ferrari have some real potential against the Brewmaster here, but he has a BKB. He can just shrug this off and keep running. Just not going to matter. Some the spot. Uh oh, Chuan pushed out pretty far up top too. I don't know about uh, that. That was what is happening? That's a you're a support just... ventral spirit. You don't go to the river. That's... Where are you? Yeah, he is way far out. He was pushed a lot previously, but not maybe he was thinking the fact that Cynic would be at the bar call up group, but uh, in the case the people would go down and move a bit of a giveaway. Then if it went up there's another <laughs> He's, he's dead. The Shadow of Poison is going to finish him off at the very least, so... And Geometry oh, Sight, back in their hands. So they get the Roche here, that might, the Aegis might be enough to actually guarantee a second lane, but they'll have to keep fighting this way. If IG get it together, if they get a good high defense chrono, there still is an opportunity for them, but they desperately need this BKB on uh, the Faceless Void. By the way, have you ever seen the Dusk of the Husky Courier in-game? 
back scene. Hey, what? The uh, courier does get a husky in game. I think I really, the moment to really appreciate it. Check it out, man. It's awesome. He's flying across here. It's super. I'm gonna lie. And for you viewers who watch the black courier, you can get a run now. 999. That dope store will get access to all the games as well as this good courier. It looks like pick it up. <laughs> what it's all out there is, uh, we'll get back into the show. Man, this is very, uh, characteristic. I hate it. I don't know if it's too cocky, too confident. Today, I'm not. You can give him an inch, take a mile, and just kind of take this game right back. Yeah, and this is just, I mean, there is potential for IG right now, but I really don't feel like they've played around the Legion very well. Uh, I mean, it's awkward enough when you don't have a blink dagger on the Legion commander. Essentially, he was relying on the void, the puck, to make the initiation happen, so he didn't have to have a blink. But after that, like, he's just been gunned down in so many fights because he's so squishy. And it's going to happen again. He's going to get lassoed, and although his allies are a little far away, it's plenty of time for them to bring in because they always have a stun cancel TP. That's not gonna matter. And how many times have we seen these IG members out in the wrong? Maybe even with their body, but they're like, you can't help but you got caught out in the door, so. They're gonna fall. The engine number going to start here on the top lane of area here too, which is right for the pickups here. See that continue to enhance the lead. Just, just once, a uh, nice little piece is quickly become pretty high. I like run out of water. Zips <laughs> continually to 15 in work. Yeah. Okay. And more after that one, as they grab that tier two. Yeah, I think this AC that's going to be picked up on the brewmaster very shortly might be the base breaker. Like obviously the Aegis is great. The uh, the troll warlord has a lot of potential here, but if they get the AC, I mean they might not need it now. We'll see if they push in just with the Aegis alone. But the AC itself is going to be a huge point of item progression. Oh. Swap hacker, quickly pops the DKB. He's missing all his autos. We have unfortunately just a bit too big to get in. Wow, what an upstairs. I can go now. Yeah, that that's just brutal. Uh, a lot of rares were lost today, I'm sure. But IG, I think they honestly deserve the loss. Like, I don't usually look at that. I usually.